Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Matthew Palmer and today I'm going to show you a very quick way of just using three colours to paint a daffodil in watercolours. Now the three colours I'm going to use, and I'm literally just going to squirt these on to a scrap piece of paper. We've got some natural blue. There we go. Uh, we've got some natural orange. A nice generous blob of orange here. And we also have natural red. Now, we could almost describe these three colours as the primary colours, red, yellow and blue. Orange obviously being the closest to the yellow. Um, and in theory, you can mix a big portion of colours just from those three. Now, I'm just going to use one brush. This one is a size 6 brush here. And very, very simply, I want to get a nice water pot here, nice clean water, and wet the paper fully all the way through. Now I've stuck the paper down to a board, it just makes it easier that way, uh, making sure it's all all covered. A big thank you to today's video sponsor which is connectbarber.co.uk, make sure you check out the link below for a £60 credit. Yes, the link below will take you to the website where you can get £60 credits against your broadband. Amazing, eh? It really, really helps this channel too. Have a look or check them out at connectfibre.co.uk. If you're looking for a broadband provider who offers both speed and reliability, look no further than Connect Fibre, a leading provider of full fibre broadband who specialise in faster, fairer and flawless internet connections. Unlike some providers who are raising their prices by as much as 7.9% in April, Connect Fibre don't do annual price hikes and never raise the price in contract. Order one of their packages before the 1st of April to make sure you get an amazing price for the duration of your contract. With Connect Fibre there are four great packages to choose from. If you're after the ultimate in hyperfast broadband, the one that I use for doing these live streams and for uploading, it is a life-changing package. The hypersonic package it's called and it gives you up to 1000 megabits per second. It is superb, I recommend it to anybody. And it's all at an affordable price as well, ensuring streamless streaming and ultra-fast upload and download speeds. There's also Connect Fibre TV service, which can be added to the hypersonic package. The TV features hours of video on-demand streaming services, as well as TV, this phone and mesh service too, spreading the internet throughout your property. The service is currently available in my hometown of Bolsover and other parts of Derbyshire, Cambridgeshire, Essex, Nottinghamshire and Yorkshire, of course, here in the UK. Connect Fibre, faster, fairer and flawless internet. Check out their website, connectfibre.co.uk for availability in your area and for more information. And do make sure you click the link below in the description for this video because it will give you £60 credit and really help this channel. Big thumbs up and a big thank you to Connect Fibre. Let's crack on. And my first thing to do is to just use a damp brush. Now I'm wiping off the excess on the side of the water pot here. That makes sense to do that. We'll take a little tiny bit of the red natural red and just put a few little sort of background twists here and there. So we're taking away some of the background. Clean the brush again, always wipe off the excess on the side. Then I'm going to take some blue, some natural blue, and we're going to wiggle this around the sides just to create a bit of an evening feeling to the background, the red and the blue leaving the edges to fade, just to do their own thing. Let's then take a lovely, vibrant, natural orange, nice and strong for the colour, and let's paint in the actual central cone of the daffodil. Now, because I'm using a cotton paper, it's not spreading too much, but the thicker the colour, the less it will actually spread. It's worth having a piece of tissue also to dab off some of the excess colour. Let's bring this down towards the centre. Because if there's less paint on your brush, you've got less chance of it spreading. Then we can paint in the petals, which all go in very simply, one at a time. Nothing too taxing here. Let's pop a couple of these on. Now obviously the paint's spreading in the dampness, that's absolutely fine. You'll find it will dry relatively quickly. Let's do one here as well. Aren't we? And then of course 
we're going to put another one probably just there. Now if you happen to pick up the colour and it's a bit stronger than the others, doesn't matter, it'll all work itself out. Work that colour back in like I'm doing here into the original colour. And then let's do a third one, sorry a third one, a fifth one, <laughs> just sort of in the background there. Now you can see I've got the very basic shape of the daffodil. Now it does help to have a good quality cotton based paper because it's absorbing the colour. Now let's just leave that a few seconds to dry off and while it's drying let's add some blue, some of the natural blue into the orange so you're getting a slight green. That will be a darker green because it's um, because it's orange that we're working with and then I want to work in some leaves which we can just allow to fade off. Again all this is done while it's wet. If I rotate the board this way, move the palette out of the way, well I say palette, it's a ripped piece of paper, we can get these to go almost right off the top of the picture here. Let's just rotate the board again here. And put a few little flicks all stemming. Do you like the little pun there? Stemming, stemming from this area. We're going to work these in. Now, this is all very freely painted at this stage, but once it's had a bit of time to dry, we'll go back in and we'll add some nice shadows and detail. What we can do is clean the brush in the water, squeeze it through the fingers, ideally away from the picture, <laughs> and then using the flat part of the brush we can actually take away some colour. Can you see I can sort of twist around? So I'm actually squeezing the excess, it's a size 6 brush, round brush, but I'm actually adding some highlights if we can see those and they work lovely around these particular areas. Um, even on the edges of some of these petals you can decide, it's your picture, you can decide which ones you want to be in front and which ones you would like to be behind. It's your call. Keep doing this, keep squeezing the brush through the fingers um, and mopping up and you'll soon find that you can add just a few interesting highlights into the daffodil without too much trouble. Beautiful, now let's leave that to dry off and we'll come back to it once it's had time to dry. So that's nice and dry and now we're going to build up the shadows so what I want to do is where we've just mixed the orange and the blue which is like a greeny colour we add a tiny bit of red to this and you'll see it start to go brown add more blue and you get a bit of a grey colour now grey of course is what we use for shadows now we don't want too much grey um, in this picture with it being flowers but a little bit is quite important and we'll take some of this grey put that to one side so we can rotate things I'm going to go in and literally we'll get nice and close so we can have a look at popping in some of these all important shadows so as first thing then is to separate the petals now where you've lifted out a couple of highlights that's quite easy to go in and put the grey in in the form of little L shapes and then just clean your brush, wipe it on the tissue a few times and just use a damp brush. Have a practice at this technique just to brush the grey away into the actual petal. And you can see how this grey colour actually makes it become part of the background. So we'll continue this <clears throat> and you can see instantly how it makes the petals look all individual. Now I'm being a little bit cautious not to go over the top of the actual flute of the um, daffodil here so I'm just working around it slightly but if you notice again it's a bit of an L shape clean brush on the tissue and then just work it in now what can happen is it can lift out 
a little bit of the colour underneath if you scrub too much. Now this petal here, and um, it also overlaps sort of here, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of a smaller shadow, just there, clean brush tissue, and again brush it away. So we've created a very basic separation. Now I'm going to make this colour, this sorry, this flute really stand forward, and for this I'm making the orange quite heavy. You often find that the um, flute of a daffodil, it depends what variety of course, I'm not a flower expert so don't give me too much <laughs> grief please. But I'm just going to, when I say flower expert, I can paint them, I, I've painted flowers for many, 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 many years, it was how I got into watercolours. But names, mm, not so good. You, you tell me, you tell me. We're going to use this colour and we're going to go around the edge, nice and almost like spotty, like a frilly edge. I'm going to take this down here, around there like so, and then we're going to come around here, spotty, I'm going to brush it back a little bit, clean brush, on the tissue, and basically we then use this damp brush to soften the orange and make it look as though it's part of the picture. It's all to do with the strength of colour that we actually apply here. I'm also going to use this colour as well to flick towards the tips of each petal. Notice the little trial run that I'm doing first. There we go. Now I'm going to put a few lines coming back towards the centre. So again we're starting to see more of a shape happen here. Let's give that a few seconds to dry and we'll come back to it. Well actually, while it is drying, let's come back to the grey. Just a tiny bit of water with the grey. That would allow me now just to pop a little bit of a shadow on some of these grasses. Clean brush tissue, soften. I've just left that to dry for a few moments while I take some more of the grey here. Just put a bit more blue with it to make it slightly richer, slightly stronger, but still basically it's a mix of all three colours. And I want to go in and I want to basically paint around where the flute becomes part of the daffodil. Water tissue. Work it in to the petal. We're also going to use this colour as well to put a little bit of shadow around these edges. Again, with the damp brush, work it in. Now, I'm going to make sure the grey is quite heavy here. So we've got the orange, got the blue, got the red, all working together. Very strong, you can see that straight away there. This is the darkest colour we've used. And the reason we want a dark colour is because on the inside of the flower, I want to be seeing a very, very dark colour. Clean brush on the tissue. And then we go in and we soften now as you do this, if you find it's not working, clean your brush a second time, wipe it through the tissue, don't necessarily dry the brush, but look how you can now see inside there, and you can spend a good few moments smoothing it out as much as you feel the need to. If we come back to some of the orange, nice and pale, I'm just going to spend a few minutes just adding a few extra little bits to the shape of the petals. Very transparent colour which means I put lots of dilution, lots of water with it. 
it's a way of cleaning up the edge if it makes sure the colour is nice and thick I can go around the edge put a few little dots very strong colour there we go and again got that nice definite effect for the daffodil there so you can see that we spent a good little bit of time there working around the edges making sure we've got all this nice colour on you get some very thick um, sort of seed heads again I don't know technical names <laughs> with some um, little stems coming out to them like so on the inside so we can see you know it's taking a bit of shape there very very simple thing to do and for one last time we'll allow that to dry off so we can come back to it and just make a few little tiny tweaks here and there so I'm just going to use a bit of water on my brush now and I'm going to take some colour out so I'm going to go around the edge here spotting the water on and give it a good dab to remove some colour even to allow me to separate a few individual petals just to give me a few little hints of highlights every so often I'm lightening the centres of each petal flick it with the tissue and you can see just how it actually comes off a few coming down here as well there we go and that's how to paint a simple evening daffodil in just three colours and one brush and a lovely postcard size sheet of watercolour paper I'll see you very soon folks